Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. The next thing we are about to understand is called this cache memory. Some people just call it a cache. In fact, the cache is a mechanism which will be used in each and everything. So let's go with it. When it comes to the cache mechanism, basically things like processor, devices, that includes printer, router, etc. And even the system. All these devices would also have thing called cache. If the question remain is what do you mean by a cache? Okay. Cache can be understood as a small buffered space. What does it save? Okay. It will basically store most frequent data or the operation. In fact, there is a concept called data cache, instruction cache and other things. So let's not get into that. Most frequent data will be stored. What is the use of it? Okay. This will increment or the positive part about this, this will increase speed. Now let's try to understand how it is going to work. Okay. Most of the time when you talk about disk cache, what is going to happen is your processor would communicate through the interface RAM as the buffer that is your RAM as a memory that I want data X now RAM would first obviously search data X in itself but considering data X is not available technically we call it cache miss since it is not available RAM will issue a command through the controller to search for data X controller would search data X suppose we are finding data X over here now the fun part is while storing or while retrieving this data first this data X will go into disk cache and from disk cache it will go to the RAM buffer and from RAM buffer through the interface finally goes to the processor Although this was just a working, now let's try to understand the advantage. After data X, maybe what we have bought is data Y, then some data Z and so on. After two or three passes, suppose the processor needed again to work with, again to work with data X. Now what would happen? Obvious RAM doesn't have this because RAM is very dynamic and it would remove. It will again go down and ask cache. In this case, if you are lucky enough, data X is already cached. Under that case, it will not give the request down and it will directly transfer the data back to the RAM and from RAM to the processor. So what was saved was the search period. So this is the disk cache. In a normal formal language, if we want to understand, let's understand it's a small amount of a buffered space which will store most frequently either used or maybe used. That data will be stored into this disk cache. This saves time for searching the data which are most frequently accessed so that we can improve the speed of communication. So that's it. This is what disk cache is about. That's it. Thanks for watching this video.